Hello, this is Angel. Recently, I've been inspired by those beautiful and effortless wrap dresses that I see on Pinterest and Instagram, and I thought, why not create them myself? They're so perfect for work or school, they look put together and are comfortable to wear. I kind of know how to use a sewing machine and I kind of know how to create some garments but I've never made anything like this before. I've made some skater skirts, some really basic dresses and some tote bags. Um, so I thought how difficult can this be? So I started out researching how to draft patterns as well as looking at different videos and tutorials on how to make a wrap dress. And after I sketch out my design, I get right into work. I started out with tracing the top and the sleeves onto butcher papers, but any large pieces of papers would work. And I paid special attention on the top front part because I know that I need to add darts, which for me is about one and a half inches. Also, I know that I need to extend the top front half of the pattern into a large triangle to create the v-neck and the wrap dress, then onto waistband and the skirt. There are three main pieces for the skirts. The two pieces in the front are curved to give it a tulip shape and a rectangle for the back. The waist is a little more complicated, but there's basically three main pieces to the waist. One wrap from the back to the front and extend into a ribbon piece, and the other piece has two bands. One wrap only the front of the waist, and the other is the ribbon piece, and two small pieces to tie the inside of the dress together, and all the while remembering to add seam allowances on all the pieces. And this is basically what I come up with. I've had this fabric for a few years now and I thought it would be perfect for the autumn and after I trace and cut all the pieces onto fabric, it's time to sew. Starting with the darts, putting the top pieces together with the shoulder and the side, adding a sleeve, cuffing the sleeve. waistband, all three pieces of the skirt, adding a ruffle, which is just made by folding a square piece of fabric together four times and then cut out a circle with no core. And then hem everything. Finally, I get to put it on. It was huge. It was huge. The, all the hemline were stretched out. At least their pocket to hold all my tears drenched tissues in. I got my whiteboard out and the camera out again. I identify all the problems and I intend to solve all of them. Since the neckline is way too loose now, I nip a triangle on the shoulder seam, like creating a little darts on the shoulder, and that actually helped pull the dress up and make the neckline much smaller. The dress is also both too long and too large, so I turn the dress inside out and remove the waistband completely and cut out two ribbon pieces and reinsert that into the skirt. Then I sew the dress back together, trimming it at the waist, creating a curve, starting at the armhole, tight as at the waist, and ends at the pocket. And it wasn't so bad. So the lessons I learned from today's projects are, first, always watch out for the grain line. When you cut the fabric at a parallel angle, it's called a straight straight grain and when you cut it at a 45 degree angle it's called a bias grain and bias grain when used correctly 
it can help mold the garment onto the body better without using so much darts. But in my case, when cut at a strange angle, the seams can stretch. I think that was what happened to my dress's neckline. The second lesson I learned from this project is when you give yourself half an inch of seam allowance, be confident and sew on it. And it is true that it's easier to turn a larger garment into a smaller one than a smaller garment stretching it into a bigger one. But if I were a little more confident, I might have avoided a lot more problems. And after solving all my problems, the result was cute enough for me to frolic around the neighborhood. If you want to see me getting into more jams, or learn from my mistakes, or just want to feel encouraged to try something new, please subscribe to my channel. And who knows, maybe once in a while I'll get something perfectly right.